Good evening and welcome to the January 3rd, 2019 Capital Improvement uh, Planning Committee and we're opening at 534. Uh, first part of business will be review the notes from the minutes from our last meeting. And we'll vote those after everybody's reviewed them. Capital requests for the 2020 fiscal year. I don't think we really reviewed them, did we? We received them. briefly. Oh, didn't you copy? I don't know. I, I think review is okay. It was, I think they were discussed and at least looked at. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel comfortable with the word, but. I think it should say received. Not a big deal. I don't know. It's going to look like how about it, how about received and looked at? Okay. 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 So do we have a <coughs> amendment to Skip's motion? Yeah. I make a motion to amend it. Okay. Say received and looked at. All right. Is there a second? A second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Just an abstention. That's me. There's two of us because I only caught part of it, so I don't want to vote on the whole minutes. Here you go. Hi, There's a chair here. Oh. Okay. Whoops. I couldn't figure out how to lift it up. Okay. All right. Uh, we have Kevin and Chuck in, and before we get to them, I just want to quickly oh, this is me. Uh, update the committee. And part of it is a budgeting process with the finance committee to give everybody an idea of where we're heading and what we're doing. And John, you could probably help out along the way here. With the finance committee, we end up uh, with like a 1.2 mil in free cash. The finance committee discussed putting 500,000 of that uh, in, in budget to carry over to help balance budget of next year's budget, which leaves us roughly around 750,000 to get through this year as far as a balanced budget. And so with that 750,000, uh, it was discussed about spending roughly around 285,000 of that to pay off the Oxford property and pay that off so we did not have to continue uh, expending money on interest payments. So that's where the 285 would go. So if we just roughly round that up to 300,000, that leaves us with about 350,000 to get through with the budget. And that means that we have to do something with the OPEB funding, uh, that 350. We also have uh, concerns, obviously, you know, Kevin can't predict the snow and ice coverage, so who knows what that's going to be. So far, we've been pretty good, huh, Kevin, as far as this year? Yeah, so, so that's good. And then, obviously, the capital stabilization fund uh, that we have. And if we're looking to put money in again this year 
at least some money in this year to that capital stabilization fund. That uh, brings us down where we, we, we really have to be careful with our dollars this year. And I know, does it impact the capital improvement committee or not? Do we just not have to worry about that? Is that not part of our responsibility? I think indirectly it is as we review the request. Uh, due to that fact, and it's just an idea open for discussion with the committee, obviously we have right now, I believe it's around $300,000 in capital request, roughly. And we also know that we have not heard from everybody yet, so there'll be additional requests coming in. So trying to play the balancing act with money on hand and the request that we have already and the request that we are pretty sure will be coming in. Uh, I would throw out for just for brief discussion purposes, the thought of possibly going through interviewing uh, all these requests asking our questions, making our notes, and possibly putting off all the requests as far as voting, not discussing, do all our discussion, ask all our questions, get all our answers that we need, and put off the voting till further on and pick an evening, set a date, invite everybody in, and vote all the requests in one session. And we won't have to get into discussions, I don't believe. I think we just go through and go through the requests <coughs> and vote them either up or down as far as recommendation or not recommendation. You mean you mean uh, invite all the department heads and everything any, for that? Right. Or anybody, anybody that, that wants put, to. Anybody, well, anybody that put those requests in. Right? Anyone can come. So, okay. right. Right. so right. We, we basically, as a committee, so, you know, uh, we'll sit here and go through and each request, it's either up or down, and go from there. In the meantime, though, as I said, like with Kevin and Chuck here tonight, we can go through, ask all our questions, review their requests, make notes, mm -hmm. and go from there. I just, I, I'm a little hesitant of trying to vote individually as people come in, I because I... all of a sudden we get halfway through, and we find out that we're not gonna be able to afford anything else uh, you know I don't know if that's fair to everybody but it's just it's a I th thought I think that's a good idea to discussion to, I think yeah. it's a good idea to vote to wait to vote and after we've had a chance to consider everything and discuss and okay. you know rather than I, I don't disagree I think we might it might be wise of us as we go through the process to start putting together a prioritization I of agree. the various requests from the various departments. I agree. It makes it easier for us to reach those decisions at the end because if we have a X amount of dollar budget number that we're targeting, then we have a much better idea if, for instance, you know, bathrooms in the public schools seem right. like a good investment and a high priority mm -hmm. as opposed to something else, then you right. then you've got it and it I, I agree one hundred percent. We create a list that could be used Mm -hmm. as, a, as a springboard to next year, the same process. I don't know. Oh, I think it, it definitely would be for next year, mm -hmm. as far as it, it, that, if, if we could afford it and, and improve everything or, or recommend everything, that's great. But if we can't, then what would not be recommended this year, as you said, Ken, would, I think, fall right back into our uh, five-year plan and bring it forward for next year. But that's up to the committee and room for discussion here. So, you're, so what if we say, gee, we don't think we're going to have the money for something, so we're not going to approve it, the request? Or recommend. Or recommend. I'm, I'm not so sure that's what we're supposed to be doing. I, th um, I, think, I think there is overlap between, between, uh, between the capital improvement committee and the finance committee, I, I really do believe there's an overall budget that we've got to stay within 
but and, even and the, we're and we're part of it. Even the finance committee doesn't know the overall budget, though. That's what I'm saying. Well, they have a they have an idea, and that's what I'm saying. We we would have a better idea, I think, where we stood financially as a town if we waited until further into the year, such as uh, middle to the end of February. I think we'd have a clear picture of what the overall finances are. I would suppose we said no. Uh, Kevin can't get these widgets. Or we can't get the nuclear power truck because mm -hmm. we don't have the money. And then we turn around and they do have the money. What happens then? I think, I think, you know, that, that is a good question, but I think that could be handled through the finance committee and the select board. But, but they, isn't that they, 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 have, they have the option, the finance committee and the select board have the option to override this committee. You know it and I know it. Right. I, th so. I, I think we I agree with Ken. I think we. I think we should just put a priority on them. Well, exactly. Until we have everything, we can't prioritize. Right. 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 Yeah. But well, I, that's what I'm saying. I agree with Ken. That's what. But I, I don't think we should say yes or no on voting whether to approve it or not. We can have. I a think. I think we should say yeah. They need the nuclear power Ooh. truck, but it's a low priority. Yeah, Lower maybe than. We recommend this well, on top of this. Well, yeah, but we're going to have to. I. I agree, John, but we're going to have to go through all the requests before we can do that. Yeah, but I don't think money is money comes into play, how much we have available. At some that's, point. That's what I think. Well, it, the, the bylaw <laughs> does say that, we, that we're supposed to consider the financial health of the town and the effect of the expenditure. Right, but we're not, we're not going to know. The finance committee doesn't know. That's the... But what I'm saying is we'll have a clearer picture two months from now. But we still don't know. A month and a half. When well, we're making that vote, two but I think from now, I think we, we can don't make know. we can make a recommendation based on what we do know. Right. You know. I mean. I. I mean, there have been there have been times I've been I've been in these meetings in years past where you know the question was asked, how much free cash do we have, and the answer was, we don't know. You know, at least we have some. We have an idea. Jeff's sort of laid out the. You know the basic parameters of it, but the uh, town. Suppose we said there's this piece of equipment Kevin needs. I should probably use the nuclear power truck. There's a piece of piece of equipment Kevin needs, and we say we don't think we can afford it. So we say we don't approve it. Oh, we make it a low priority. That still should go on. If we think he needs it, it still should go on the town warrant. And let the voters decide. Well, we can, it should well, we be. Can a, do it that. shouldn't be up to decide. Right. We can. We can make that recommendation, I, but. But we might. We I don't might think say, it should well, be. We don't. We don't like the idea of a nuclear powered truck. We, that's okay. That's not, fine. Yeah, but we're not looking at the money. We're looking at does he need a truck? Well, you got to take the money in consideration. If I, you're sitting on the capital improvement committee, I, well, as, I guess as Jack yeah. said the bylaws and that, and if and if you take a look at any. <clears throat> decent capital improvement uh, uh, policy or bylaw, it's in there. You gotta deal with the money component. But we don't decide based on the money. That's, I'm just giving I'm not, my, that, that's right. my vote. I don't think it should be up to us to decide. Okay. I think it's up to the voters to decide. We say here it well, is, here's what it we all think comes down, Whether we recommend it or not recommend it, John, it comes down to the voters. Yeah, but well, well right. it's true. And then the and then the and then the also you have your safety check valve with your finance committee. They'll they'll figure out real quick whether it can be afforded or not, and also your select board. So, so you know, we sit I, there. I, so, I, two months from now we sit there and say we don't think we should buy it because we don't think we have the money. And then we say no, we don't recommend it, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to go by priority, as Ken had mentioned. I think we'd, if we, we can, if we think we can afford these ten priority items, then that's what we recommend. What if we if don't we think, think we can afford it, though? That's I guess that's what I don't understand. Then we recommend this, and if money allots, then we afford these next five. Well, that's a priority. We recommend right. these next five. Take them and in if sequence. Money doesn't. But we're, then but we we're still going to recommend it. Recommend they need. I think we can work that out. And either way, we need to wait until right. we have everything. Right. We'll work out the language. We, so. we trust you. 
Gas Well, anyways, discussion. We're going to be with you in a second. No, no. I, I was yeah. just asking more of a question on what oh, okay. you guys are talking about right now. Pardon? Yes. Is so so the way the way you'll end up doing it in the very end will be um, either we recommend if the money's available or we don't recommend. Period. Is that how you is that how you're going to no. put it out? No, I what what we would do is if there is something that we disagreed with completely, we mm -hmm. probably would not recommend it. Right. If there was ten items that priority wise mm -hmm. that we thought were needed and we pretty sure we could afford it, we'd recommend those. Okay. If we okay. had two, three, four, five items that we thought would be beneficial, but we don't know if we can afford them, we'd probably go to the point of if we can afford these, we'd also recommend these. So you would recommend money available? Money available. Subject to money available. Subject right. to money available. Okay. That and if it didn't happen for the next fiscal year, oh, sure. yeah. it would roll you, over you, you into a five-year plan or whatever, right, however and want. try to do it the next year. No, understood. We just, just because... I was just looking, I was just right. looking for, for a definite recommend or don't recommend right. no, I, I from, hear from the saying. committee itself. Right. And then as far as the financials are concerned, that's it, it, you have right. to take it in consideration, right. but it's, it's kind of a different Exactly, different yeah. I know it's a, it's a fine right. line. It's not an easy thing. And that's why I just wanted to be fair to all departments. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. Because I didn't want to get, you know, oh, we're going to recommend, have, have you know, the first three departments walk out of here thinking, oh, great, they recommended it. And then all of a sudden have three other departments come in and just simply flat out say no because we don't have any money. That would be unfair to them. Oh, certainly. So no, I'd like to review, this is just my opinion, I'd like to be re able to review all the department requests. And as Ken mentioned, if you have to do a priority list, do, and we'll do as much as what we could afford. Okay. I think we should do a priority list whether we can afford it or not. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There should be a priority that's list. Part of the, that's part of the five-year plan, right? No, no. This year. For all the requests this yeah. year, we should say either right. we, we, we think the department needs it or we don't. If they do, then yeah, put a that's priority. Yeah, that's what I said, John. Well, no. You said, you said if we can afford it. There's a difference. John, did you listen to everything I said? Yeah. Okay. Then you would know I said it. All right. So let's go. Uh, other thoughts? Or that to me makes the most sense because last year we just kept dealing with one after the other. One after the other. They kept coming in every every time we met, we had a new one. So this way we would be having the same process, but we wouldn't we would wait to the end to vote on everything. Right. Does everybody feel comfortable with that or no? Or yep. yeah. no. Do we need to vote it or just no. understand? No. I don't think I think we've got an understanding. Okay, then we move on. We can note it in the minutes. All right. <laughs> we reviewed the procedure by which we will. Okay. Well, I just wanted to make sure yeah. we have a consensus to prioritize mm -hmm. and okay. wait until all all presentations have been made. <clears throat> and Chuck and Kevin, thank you very much for your oh, wow. extensive <clears throat> effort there as far as your highway plan. I did, I did uh, do a copy of the equipment list mm -hmm. and the capital replacement plan, so I did make copies of those. I uh, just handed those out, so it might take a minute for people to get a chance to look at those. Yep, I do. In fact, you might not even have to make a copy. Here's just some additional information that afterwards Chuck can explain. And there's one long short of this is if we were to get fifteen hundred or fifteen thousand dollars a year. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, the original. Do you want? Yeah, I, uh, it's, it's been tweaked up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I looked up two. This is different than the email. That's correct. Yeah. A bit less. Two spots. Hmm. I got two. Right. 
There's different. There looks like. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. Got it. So we should discard this one. Kevin, can you just quickly, you had on the uh, a cover letter with the request, and could you just update us very quickly, uh, you know, like with the tall town hall generator, or, you know, the status of that? Oh, oh, oh the, old, the older stuff. Okay, sorry. Right. I was yeah. thinking. Yeah, just to catch up a little bit. Okay. So we uh, town hall generator presently right now. Um, I'm still going back and forth with the electrician. We're still trying to work with Eversource uh, because it's going to be challenging to be able to get everything changed over because realistically, we're trying to figure out how we can get this thing done on a Saturday. Simple mm -hmm. fact is, is power has to be completely cut 100% to this building for probably a day. Okay. Anywhere between eight to 10 hours. Obviously we can't do that during the week. Well, we could because right. I mean, well. we have snow days where they completely close. So, I mean, there's mm -hmm. nothing saying we can't. Um, but again, we're kind of going back and forth with electrician, with, with Eversource, just trying to get a lot of things just nailed down to make sure that we're, when, when we do start moving forward, it's, it's, we're not gonna have any issues. Okay. All right. So. In the senior center flooring? Senior center flooring, um, I'll be honest with you, I, I forgot about it. Uh, okay. I'm being honest. Um, All right. And so since then, oh, it's, it's, I've been re-reminded probably about two weeks ago, and I was like, oh. and we reached out to Busca, and uh, they're going to okay. be coming back down and giving us a, just a good, because originally, like, keep in the back of your mind, like, a lot of times when I go ahead and give you the, the quotes, Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just a quote from, from one place. Yeah, no, I understand. You know, and because of the cost of things, you know, mm -hmm. usually Absolutely. I have to go, I should use best uh, business practices, so mm -hmm. I'd be going through at least uh, three quotes. Three quotes, right. Um, but usually, not this particular time, but in times past, I've used somebody that I know is high, so mm -hmm. that way that when, when it does get put through, right. um, you know, I'll you have, have enough I'll, money I'll, to cover. I should have enough money, you know, but again, like, like you discussed, long ago especially with that senior center one it there has capabilities of being a huge mm -hmm. can of worms as soon as that carpet comes up mm -hmm. because of the asbestos tile right and how it goes up and that's going to depend on how it comes up depends on who's going to do it depends on how much it's going to be because if it really starts sticking to the to the tile right then right. Busca's is going to walk away mm -hmm. he says you get it stripped out you get it all taken care of now, at that point in time, because now all of a sudden we're dealing right. with with hazmat, hazmat. material, yeah, it's gonna be a lot more money to go ahead and get that carpet removed. But yes. the carpet has to be removed or should be removed for for health reasons. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, that's the area that they cook in in the whole nine yards, and mm -hmm. they used to eat in there a lot. So I mean, quite so sure. it is in the process. Then it's in the process, correct? Yeah. Okay. And how about the transfer station fence? Okay, the fencing. Um, mm -hmm. Again, I've been working with. Um, Fitzgerald fence. We are kind of in a holding pattern a little bit because we're trying to find out what's happening with the solar project right, people. Which will have an impact. Because, yeah. be honest with you, if I can get them to pay for part of my fence, I'm going to mm -hmm. make them pay for part of my fence. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of held back on that a little bit. Yeah. Um, just for the simple fact is we're, we're not really sure what's going to happen with that. Right. Um, I know that the... the Information went out to all the different places and it got kind of stalled for reasons that are kind of above my head. Um, mm -hmm. Something to do with, with the SMART program or SNAP program yeah, or whatever. Smart. Um, that that's kind of put a kibosh to it, but they still are keeping it open. So that's kind of leaving me open-ended right now. Right. Um, you know, if it realistically, obviously, if, if it's going to be a year or two years, then I'm just going to continue to move forward and do what I need to do to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Right. You know, and, and the same thing with, with the uh, with the compactor. Um, you know, we've already we thought we had enough forethought that when we brought the electricity out and we poured that pad, mm -hmm. made the pad big enough to make sure that that was going to be able to withstand additional packers, compactors, and the electricity is pretty much already run out there. All we have to do is run from that box with some conduit over. Okay. Um, again, kind of going back and forth with with some of the different different places. Um, just trying to get the best price for what I'm getting. Sure. Um, yeah. The highway mower, that working out well? That's working great. All right. Working Does that great. leave you with two mowers now? 
<laughs> yeah, well, yeah, uh, over the guardrail because we've got the the small trackless. Mm -hmm. um, that was the original one that they had, right. and then obviously the second one here that we have now is is actually paid for by Eversource. Right. Correct. Um, and just as a side note, this is the last one that Eversource is doing. Yeah. So we were lucky enough just to get time. in. Right. Lucky enough to get into the program uh, because they're not doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously I was <clears throat> panicky right off the bat. You know, it's like, oh, what do you mean? You know, are you still gonna pay? And you know, it's, it's all part of the contract. And you know, I, I kind of freaked out a little bit. I talked to Chuck, and both of us hammered the same person at the same time with emails and phone calls. And they're like, calm down, easy, take it easy. We're, we're gonna pay you. It's like, all right, just just make now sure. Now the older mower still in good shape. It's in decent shape, yeah. Yeah. It's but it's 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 you're talking apples and oranges when when you're talking mm -hmm. the differences between the two mowers. You know, one right. one is a small flail mower, um, and then the other one is a regular uh, like a brush hog per right. se. Right. But it is still being used. Yes. Okay. Yes. The uh, salt shed transfer station that that's been completed as far as wood has that been painted. It has not yeah. been painted. Okay. It has not been painted. Be able to get to that at some no, that's point. That's what I'm hoping because I still have to get some paint on the uh, lower section of the salt shed. Okay. Here in town. All right. Okay. I think that updates <coughs> where we are. Do we do some stuff? I don't know if you want to cover it. Just uh, Brenda handed out a list of stuff. Capital items approved prior to fiscal year 18, but hadn't been completed. I don't know if we want to go over those or not. Just uh, anything with Kevin at the moment? Oh, Kevin, uh, I don't believe. DES generator? Or is that just school? That's, that's, that's school. just school. Right. I don't believe there's anything no. on there that related no. to Kevin. No. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's start with a small one as far as the request for the truck uh, on the and, and I know there's got to be some flexibility in a in a five year plan. Mm -hmm. um, understand? Because uh, actually, when we gave it to you, we gave you like a thirty year plan. Right. Yeah. So that's yeah, why you guys did right. Yeah. Uh, with this here, there, you have for 2020 projected. Obviously, mm -hmm. was the F-150 pickup the two by four for 30,000. And then for 2021, you had the F-250 pickup four by four, as far as replacement, okay. for 4,500. Uh, obviously, uh, yeah. excuse me, yeah. uh, obviously that's been changed here with your request. Correct. You're going, you want to replace the, the F-250 Correct. With an F-350 Correct. and a larger plow. Can you just fill us in here on that? Okay. So it was about 2000, I want to say 14, when we replaced one of the 250 pickups. We gave you capital finance, the information on the 250s not holding up, and they had eight-foot plows, and we were putting excessive money on them. Uh, transmission work, rear end work, and such. So at that time was when we moved forward and we requested to go with the 350s with the bigger plows because an eight foot plow doesn't even clear the truck itself when you're plowing a, a street road. They're more of a homeowner driveway plow. Mm -hmm. So it was agreed upon to start to run the F-350s with the nine and a half foot plows on them to give it more clearance, but you're also with a bigger truck, which has worked out tremendous as far as repairs go. Um, 250s, you were probably getting maybe 35,000 miles and you're rebuilding the whole front end. You know, not to mention the brakes and everything else that was going along with it. Um, that is why you see the 350 because it was already brought up. No, that's that's fine. That discussion obviously took place before I came on yeah. board, but I understand what you're saying. Uh, committee members, do you have questions or? That makes good sense. 
So the vehicle is being replaced is an 09? It's, it's, it's a F-250 in 09? It's an actual 2010, but it was received in uh, the end of 2009. Mm -hmm. It's got 90,000 miles on it. Mm -hmm. um, it's had a full front end. We, we've done some upkeep on it. The eight-foot fisherman amount on there now is just pretty much worn out. You know, all the holes are egged out. It's clearly not big enough. Um, it's going to be due for a front end. You're starting to get the fender rot, the cab rot, the transmission's been sleep, uh, slipping, the rear end's clunking when it heats up. I mean, it's an F-250 with a homeowner plow on there. That that thing plows down the road. It's and not. You plowed streets with. Yeah, I mean, you're plowing the streets of Deerfield. You're not plowing your driveway. It's not a parking lot machine. So it's, it's the operator, the operator, would be surprised if it lasts this winter without losing the transmission. That said, our original plan was in 2020 going on our 10 year layout of the trucks, which was decided. The original plan that was proposed back when it first came out, we were gonna replace both them trucks in 2020, but we had nothing for 2021. So we were hoping to replace one truck and then the other truck. Well, with this truck starting to fall apart, that's why it made sense to go for this one first mm -hmm. because we need this to plow. And if a transmission is like a $3,200 job. So, I mean, right. to try and go another year and have to risk that repair, that does a dampening on our budget. So, so uh, because the 150 is in a little bit better shape than the two. well, I was going to ask. So you would right. you would try to get another year out of the 150, right? And when you uh, attempted to request to replace that, would it be another 150 or would it be a larger truck also? I think we should be able to go for another 150, but to be honest with you, I'd really like to go with with an extended cab. And the reason why is because like right now, <clears throat> a lot of times when we're doing our professional development, we're going to places. Either we have to take one of our own private vehicles, or because like if three of us go, or four, or four of us go, we're not going to fit four of us in, in the front of a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of times when we're traveling from one place to another, you know, you end up having to take a second vehicle just because you don't have enough room. But that's down, down the, road. the road, right? So where but, will this uh, 250 end up going? The 250 will stay here. In the 250. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. The, the existing 250. Right. The existing 250, what realistically what we'll do is we're going to play the, for a poor choice of words, the shell game. Um, the truck that is down at the wastewater treatment plant mm -hmm. has been parked for probably eight months, mm -hmm. nine months. Transmission slips, motor's going to skip. He's already done a boatload of work to the motor, um, trying to figure it out. It's, it's, it's got the mice have got inside of it. Um, it's it's this junk is what it is. So mm -hmm. presently so you right now, the F two the F two fifty four by four would be going it to because you only use it to drive back and forth between. So that. just you just switch those vehicles yeah. out. Correct. And yep. the one junk, down. junk the one down in the or correct yep. wholesale it or exactly. Yeah. Okay. I, I I'm kind of putting together a spreadsheet on the five year plan for the mm -hmm. committee. And I'm confused because on this one, you've got truck 009 being replaced in 2019. So well, that's typo? because that's a lot of stuff didn't happen in 2019. So that's why you have to look at the, the, the newer ones. Look, look at this one. Which one do I look at, I guess? Let me see what you got. Because I got three of them now. 150. So I got this one you originally gave. Maybe. I'm not trying to shoot holes what you did. I just don't know. I just don't know which one to use. All right, so that's the one that we changed. Yeah, that to 21. This one here is still 20. Okay, uh, transfer station check. We didn't, we didn't do anything with. That was 2019. No, 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 no. Which of these sheets should I use? Well, that's which, one. Oh, okay. Should we do it after the meeting instead of telling everybody else? Yeah, out? can we? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Chuck, while we're on trucks, could you give us a quick uh, update on the status of the new, new truck? New so the, the new chassis just arrived. It's in um, Vermont at Patriot Freightliner, mm -hmm. um, along with a lot of, lot of other chassis. So 
right now, Madigan, we're, we're in a slot, but when 10 chassis show up ahead of us, we're probably 10 deep right now. So it's going to go to Madigan's. Before it goes to Madigan's, since it's sitting there, um, Patriot's going to deliver it to the shop, and we're going to do our routine and service that we do to it. Mm -hmm. so that it's all ready to go when we get it back from Madigan's. But right. all the equipment's sitting at Madigan's. It's all ready to go. Um, it's just getting a slot and getting it in there. Is Takes, that, uh, uh, as far as projected date, do you have an idea when that's going to come online? Just cross Tentatively, the they're, they're, they're probably they roughly have. three weeks before they get into a shop, and then they're probably five, maybe five, five, six weeks from there. Okay. Probably looking at around March, I would say. Okay. Um, which, unfortunately, you're looking at a year nowadays. Every town that orders a truck is a year. That's why a lot of, a lot of towns actually, and I know it's hard because that's not what special meeting's for, but a lot of them try and pre-approve it a year in advance or try and get it at special meeting mm -hmm. out of next year's funds to try and vote it early so that you can get that slot so you're getting it for the actual winter you need it because mm -hmm. when you order it in the spring, in you're the spring. not having it for that winter. Right. It's just yep. impossible now. Yep. Okay. On this 40000 for the 350 does that uh, cover everything you need for the truck as far as attachments and so on? It should. So you're okay. So it's a pretty good figure then. Yep. All right. Very good. You know, so if you're subject to things changing, I mean, you know, you know. Right. Sure. No, I under understand. Because right. you know, all of a sudden, you know, because of the tariff, because of this, because of that. I mean, you know, again, keeping the back of mind, a lot of times when we looked at some of these prices on things, it was it was a little bit ago. So. Okay. Uh, anybody have any other questions or comments? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. Let's move on to the mini excavator then. And can you give us? Uh, I know it's written here. I've read it, but just an overview of where you're at and how it came about? Well, one of the things that we were looking at is the ability on how we're, how we're working. Um, if we go ahead, we're just going to say upper road, for instance. Okay, so when we're getting ready to look at trying to do a, a new culvert and upper road, we looked at it to the point that the width of the road, you get in there with a backhoe, it, it, the, the ditch or your, your trench would have to be four times as wide because you can't be sitting this direction and digging this direction and still have it stay in a smaller area, smaller footprint. Mm -hmm. If when we were going, we were taking up the whole road. And to be honest, what we ended up doing is, is the last one that we ended up having an issue with is I actually went out and I rented a mini. And it made the job go much faster it was much cleaner. We were able to keep, technically we, we put the sign up road closed through true, through true, tra through, through traffic. Mm -hmm. And all feasibility, the way we set it up is we were still able to, if fire, police, or EMS ended up having to go by, there was no problem with that whatsoever. If we were set up like that with the backhoe, there was no way. Mm -hmm. um, you know, multiple things that we're looking at, not only that, that particular time we had some, um, some stone issues that were coming up through the road. You know, for some reason, stones grow. <laughs> um, and then we ended up having to- uh, Well watered. Yeah, exactly. So we ended up <laughs> going ahead and we get the hammer, uh, then went along with it and we, we chipped out. So we went through multiple places in town with that, that hammer. You know, obviously we're looking to go with a hammer on this one. No, we're not. For the simple fact is, is we don't use the hammer very often. Mm -hmm. But right now I can think of probably at least a half a dozen other places just for drainage areas where we could use it because we got a lot of ledge. You know, everybody says, oh, you're in sand. Yeah, we're in sand down here, but as soon as you get to upper road, lower road, Keats, um, mm -hmm. um, Pine Nook, any of those areas. So that particular attachment, we can go ahead and we can rent, you know, right, um, right, out, of, right out of Greenfield, which isn't a problem. Sure. Again, you know, we're looking at doing the work for the, the drainage on the edge of the road because we have to get back into it. Again, I'm in the process of trying to work with DEP to get a blanket permit per year to allow us to go ahead and do standard maintenance because otherwise you have to go and request every time you're going to go anywhere near a waterway within 100 feet of waterway you have to get some type of a permit um, and what we're trying to do if we can go ahead and get that very specifically with this piece of equipment we're not going to be taking up the whole road 
because we would take up more than the whole road with a backhoe for one, for two, um, it would be much faster. You know, and a lot of people go, oh, well, we'll just go ahead and rent it for the amount of time that you would need it to go ahead and clean the, the um, ditch line within town. Okay, well, I'll probably spend more money in rentals than I would be in purchasing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just- to rent on a day? Uh, basically, I, I look at weeks, and it's basically just over two grand a week. How many times have you rented it in the last? This is the first time we've rented it in the past. Yeah. Because I was always sketchy because I didn't want to spend the money. Yep. You know, but then we looked at this, and it's like you know, I, we we can't get into where we were going to go on this one, and that's when I just, and again, knowing full well that I needed all this other stone uh, removal mm -hmm. for uh, uh, Ridge Road, which mm -hmm. is basically where the problem was coming into play. Mm -hmm. So I bit the bullet and we just went ahead and we rented it. So it, it's. Which piece of equipment are you using now? What unit number? Uh, it would be the backhoe. Uh, zero, backhoe zero, six, zero. Can that, do you still gonna need that? Well, or can you sell it? Well, you could sell it, but you could also, I tell you what, Chuck dealt with more of the, the Caterpillar guys. So if you want to tell them on how <laughs> little money that we'd actually get from these people. So originally we looked at it talking with I've, I've talked to a lot of the people about how they clean out their ditch lines and stuff because it's it's very hard to set up on the side of a road and dig this way at an angle and then be able to still put in a dump truck because you're pulling towards you and a lot of people are like oh we got an excavator what do you mean you don't have an excavator and, well we do everything with a backhoe so by having an excavator would you get rid of the backhoe right away well we thought well why don't we get a a bigger mini excavator and we'll get rid of the backhoe and then we can bring one of the tractors we got up there and use the bucket on that well they were going to give us 50 grand for the backhoe and and then the bigger excavator because you, we still have to have the ability to set our um right. culverts and stuff like that the bigger excavator was going to be a hundred thousand dollars and then you're only going to get 50 for the backhoe. So now the town's still going to spend $50,000 and only have an excavator. Whereas if you get the mini excavator, it's going to be a smaller footprint and it's going to be, um, you're still going to have your backhoe for now until you figure out how it's going to work. Because a lot of guys, what they do is they have a, a mini excavator and they got a skid steer rather than a backhoe. But this is just the start of a process. I mean, we can't just say, hey, we want a mini and we want a skid steer. It would be great if we could do that and say, then we could see if we don't need the backhoe. But at this point in the game, you can't. So you got to start at one spot. And the thing is that they're finding most with the mini excavator, the biggest thing is, is when you're, you're riding with the road and you got your dump truck in front of you, you're tramming the road and you're, you got your four foot ditch bucket and you're just scooping like this and you can put it in there. And now you got nice clean ditch lines. Uh, same with digging your pipe. You know, you can dig your pipe right here. You're spinning it around. You're dumping it in the truck back. Of you. So now you're taking up one lane, but you got to get there somehow. So we wouldn't get rid of the backhoe right away because they're not going to give us nothing for it. I mean, fifty thousand dollars for the backhoe is it's just not worth it. To slap in the face. Of you're paying thing. sixty five thousand. You know, so for another fifteen thousand, you'll have two pieces of equipment. But by, by going in this direction, when you look down our list, we have other specific pieces of equipment like the track list and such that it might come time where we can change our curve, be under the same blanket of money, but we might change up our equipment so that we are able to utilize at different places. Uh, see the state, they, they're putting flail heads on their excavators, mini excavators, and that's what they're using over the guardrail. So maybe when it came time to the track list, to speak in the future once you're on, on the plan instead of buying a, a new track list where the machine just to run the attachments is 120,000 you might lo look at a $60,000 machine that could might do your sidewalks possibly and maybe look at a $20,000 head and you're already $25,000 ahead of the game because now you can take that head and you can throw that on your mini excavator now you can get down on the guardrails where that little track list was that is only used in that special application. Um, years ago, all this equipment that the municipalities had were specific to their duties, the holders and all that, which all became from like airports and stuff. The, the municipalities mimicked like airports because that was their big thing with, with, it, with the sidewalk machines and stuff. But now 
They're just coming out with a new generation. Even construction companies, you see their backhoes parked more with box plows on them par doing parking lots because they're even doing minis because it's so easy to bring a mini over. You go do somebody septic in their front yard. Well, every time you put the downriggers down, that's two more pads you gotta fix in their yard. That's more material, that's more grass seed, that's more water, you know, stumps, everything, you, you name it. So everybody is going to this low impact equipment because it's a lot less cleanup and it's a lot more production. And towns used to outsource a lot of this, but they're starting to do a lot more in-house. So if you're gonna do things in-house, you gotta kinda get with the ways of doing it right and being productive, so. That gives us another another piece of equipment added to the list, obviously, without doing anything with backhoe, wanting to keep the backhoe too. Uh, as far as where would this machine be stored? Would it be in, out? In, because yeah, the advantage of it is it's small enough that we can sneak right. it between the trucks. Yeah. So you could get it inside. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, that's one yeah. of my concerns, mm -hmm. obviously. No, that's and I great. Think everybody, you know, when you when you have to leave more equipment outside, right. Right. there's more issues with it. You know that. Yeah, exactly. And that's that. right. 90% yeah. of the reason why we won't. As far as with the Mini now, uh, is that what you're looking at? Going to have the horses to dig up, as you were saying, uh, pipes and that and set culverts and so on and so forth because my understanding is basically they're what eight eight and a half feet for depth as far as a dig uh, well this one will be an extended boom so that we can uh, okay, load so it into a truck yeah. so, so it's got a little a little more height it's a 45 horsepower machine um, the actual digging depth is the, the long the long step Dig depth is 144 inches, yeah. so that's that's 12 feet. Yeah, 12 feet. Yeah. So I mean, um, so you look at all all like Colcott's and and the landscape companies, the guys that are doing the pipes like mm -hmm. this, they're running a 305. Because from the 305, it goes to the 308. You go up from this one, it goes up to the 18,000 pound machine, I believe, which is equivalent to what the back was. But then you're doubling the cost. So with the extended stick, yes, you're going to do everything. And are we going to be able to set a big basin? No, that's why if we get the little machine, we're going to keep the backhoe because now we're not limited to what we're going to do until you figure out the process of how it works. Yeah. So the main reason for this piece of equipment, it gives you a little more flexibility as far as setting up and getting into tighter spots exactly. compared to your backhoe is what you're saying. You're still going to... Uh, as far as this piece of equipment, basically a track, track machine. Yep. Correct. So you're going to have to uh, load it on trailer and haul it. Mm -hmm. So where, if you get to the job site, as far as where do you do or what do you do? You know, you were mentioning that there's some tight spots there. One mm -hmm. of the examples you use, where would you park that that truck and trailer for oh, you that can, you time, can, you or can, would you, you just drop always... it off and go back to the garage with it? Either we, either like you said, either we can drop off the trailer back at the shop, or we move it further up, like when we were uh, doing the job on Lower Road. Because we brought it up the road, probably about a quarter mile, and just okay. parked it up. You know, put cones around it. So you'd have to find some place, right? Exactly. On the smaller roads to correct. Do one of the two. Correct. All right. So it's it's basically a track. So basically, you'd have to trailer it wherever your job site correct. was. Yep. And we do have the trailer, so the trailer would be. More used than sitting now. You're now you're again utilizing another piece of equipment. Yeah, you'll utilize you the trailer more than no. what you have. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. In uh, a truck, you have truck to haul that with no problem. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We actually haul the program more to the other towns rather than trailing it to keep the wear, wear and tear on it. So that's a much bigger piece of equipment. You just you got to haul it with a dump truck, but when you're on the job with an excavator, essentially you need a dump truck, so it's not going to tag a trailer with you. Now with this, with this uh, dollar amount, and you're looking for 66000 for this piece of equipment, uh, you had mentioned extended boom, that's an additional attachment or an option. 
it's to upgrade a little bit, right? Yeah, that's just a longer boom so you can reach in the truck, but that there covers you for, um, that's gonna come with your four foot wide bucket to put yeah. your ditch lines, it's just a light material ditch line bucket. That's gonna come with um, the wider trench bucket and then a small trench bucket specific to like your piping jobs and your sewers. Any other attachments at this time? Not at this time, but it Would will. Would you be looking for other attachments down the road maybe? It depends how the plan goes because there's a lot of cutters and there's a lot of different things that you could do with it. So, right. you know, when it comes time to replace another piece of equipment, like say the track list and we want to change direction on that, we might say, hey, we have this route we can go because mm -hmm. This by tracking. purchasing an attachment or two mm -hmm. right. and eliminating this piece of equipment right right not having to replace it yeah so um, and then as far as equipping it it will come equipped so that if we need to hammer now we're just going down to west county with, mm -hmm. with a flatbed pickup picking up their hammer and now you're just renting the attachment and you're mm -hmm. not renting the whole piece of equipment yeah you know which is gonna be helpful because a lot of times when we grade you know, you'll run into that ledge and it's like, well, someday we'll get to it, but you don't. And that's the same with like all the other things. You could rent this thing for a week, plan a pipe job, tree goes down over here. Well, now you're not getting it. Now you're in the week two. So now you're spending $4,000 on a $2,000 week because you're already into the next week. And by the time you add it up with the amount of pipes that we have that need to be replaced. Culverts. Right. There's steel, you know, so you're gonna, it's gonna be utilized. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of pipes where that we just can't do with the backhoe. It, it only swings one eight mm -hmm. in the setup. And then once your two outriggers are down, and it would just be really beneficial. Yep. There'd be savings there, especially over the life of equipment. I mean, right. well, this uh, obviously, and understandable, this was an item that wasn't. Mm -hmm. Included in the capital plan and the uh, original one correct right the original right so you know it's good to bring it up and discuss it uh, just have to see uh, obviously this piece of equipment once again the sooner the better like everybody else in line I'm sure because right, to, be to be honest with you I mean and, and this isn't I'm not how should I put this? Don't take this the wrong way, but if we don't get this through capital, I, to be honest with you, to continue doing what we need to do, I'm going to end up having to rent, them. rent which inadvertently right. is going to take my regular budget and then I'm going to have to bring it up. Yeah, no, I'm going to no, have to figure out how many, how many weeks I'm going to need it and then right. kind of go with it from there. Right. That's, so. that's well, you'd be able to do, you would be able to do, still, you'd be able to do quite a bit with what you've been doing oh, all correct. these years. Yes. As correct. far as it's not going to... Correct, yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, it's not, it's not like I'm going to be going out and, right. and, and renting it for the but next at, 25 weeks, Right. but I may end up renting it, rent it for a month. Right, there's okay. going to be so times there's, there's where you'll, right, there's going to be times probably where you could use it right. because of the tight job sites and so on. I, exactly. I, yeah, I think... I understand anyways, I think everybody. Uh, any other questions, concerns? Good. You guys have any other comments or? So I put together two sheets and the one that says original. Yep. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't throw away, that was the original one I put together based on all the other requests mm -hmm. that I've been just kind of carrying over from, <clears throat> from the original outlay. Um, so if there was ever a way, like when the money, how, how the money is talking to a lot of other highways, what, what they've been able to achieve is a stabilization fund for like the highway department. So in front of you is essentially financial layout, a, a, a long plan ahead of you. The original one is if we don't have the mini excavator included in that. Yeah. And if the town was to every year come capital appropriate $115,000 into a highway department stabilization fund, and that could continue, 
you would never have to worry about the source of funding because you have our equipment with the life expectancy that we essentially agreed upon. And you can see there, the, the way it's referenced is on two pages is one's funds before and that one's funds available after. And there's only one time that you're ever gonna hit a negative, which is gonna be in 2027 budget. Without the mini, you'll be at a 25 negative, but there's nothing in 28. And you see that in 28, it's a positive. So in 28, with $115,000, you would just then decide to push Sunk that equipment. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is if capital ever took into consideration appropriating money, if it was to be appropriated into a highway stabilization fund, it would just make it easier and a level process for everybody. And a lot of towns are starting to do that. Right. Well, this committee said the same thing, believe it or not. And I don't know if we're, even with, with our committee, and that's something that we're going to have to discuss. For the last couple of years, we've been trying to put money away, or we have, mm -hmm. in a capital right. stabilization. We may not be able to do that this year because of what we're facing. Right. And again, we won't know for sure. So we hear what you're saying. Uh, again, that would probably have to be... Uh, finance committee and a select board decision. Right. But as far as a committee here, I think everybody understands mm -hmm. where you're coming from, as far as like a cost average throughout the years to cover right. cover your needs. The second one I gave you is with the excavator mm -hmm. included, and if you look, you're still in the hole that same year by 90,000, but if you push that one piece of equipment that year out, you're back out of the hole throughout the whole plan. So if the stabilization fund was ever in place, what I was saying is like, if it was already in place in years to come, making decisions like this would be easier because you have, you, you just have- The funding source is already there. Right, right, you have, right. Well, that's what we're trying to do with the, we're trying to do the same thing actually with with the capital stabilization fund here, as far as a, you know. But once again, you gotta right. have the money to put exactly. in before you can take it out. So, mm -hmm. and, but appreciate all your work. You've done a you've done a good job. Yeah, this is very cool. So, any other questions? You guys, you good? You any? As good as it's going to get for now. Okay. Uh, obviously, as we had discussed, we're mm -hmm. not going to vote these tonight. Right. I think we're all in agreement with that. But we appreciate your time. We appreciate you coming in. We appreciate your explanations. And uh, thanks for all your efforts. Yeah, and we right. appreciate your work. Uh, actually, we will, we will definitely, <laughs> Love all. We will definitely uh, notify you when we are going to get to the point of voting okay. request. All right. So if there's anything else you need from me, let yeah. me know. I'll get and to if you guys it. have any questions, please contact Jack or myself, and we'll try to update you where we're at. Cool. All right. Very good. Okay. Yeah. We were going to meet after, but I guess we're going to keep going. So can you, like, throw in an email which one of these I should use for the five-year yeah, plan? Yeah, let, let, me, let me see them, and I'll take a quick photocopy of that. Because I don't, you know, I'm confused. Well, what's new? I got this one. Get rid of something. Now I got this one. Okay, that's. What do we have left to do? That, that's just, just the. Uh, yeah. The 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 yeah. Okay. okay. Got this one here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's history. Okay, so you're right. gonna look at that one, right? Yeah. You gotta do this one. <laughs> Dinner. Oh, yeah. Me too. <laughs> just which one? Start. It started working over 12 hours ago. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Oh, jeez. That's what happens when you own your own business. Yeah, I know. I feel you. I don't exactly own it. You don't exactly I, own I, it, I know the guy. Like I know it. the guy that thinks he does. Do we want to just put these on hold and discuss at another meeting when we get further along? or? Well, well do we... I know that um, Zach and John couldn't be here tonight. Can that they was be? Correct. But was there? Can they come another time? Can I they think come this another is another time. Or this is really we, helpful. 
This is the kind of explanation that Chuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to be able to, uh, with committee, I was going to try to figure out a night where we as a committee could meet, whether it be Monday nights, Tuesday nights, Wednesday nights, whatever the case may be. Just uh, get a grab a regular night. To, right, try to set one night where we could Not meet. Meet right here. And then that way it would be easier to yeah. set up and have people come in. We yep. say this Wednesday night at 530. Mm -hmm. and. And if we're consistent with our evening, it might make things a little bit easier. Wednesdays uh, probably work best for Carolyn. Okay. Because she has thanks. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, she has meetings Wednesday. So uh, back to back for her I mean, would probably no, work Wednesday. a little bit easier than coming oh, out. Oh, she has back to back. Right. Meetings. She has back to back meetings Wednesday, and she. Uh, would would prefer that than being out additional nights. She's already out many many evenings. But uh, Ken, I, are you the school committee still meeting Wednesdays? Um, this month we are not, but uh, most for the most part we meet on Wednesdays, and right. we're meeting at five thirty or six. All right. Now, do you meet once a month? Once or? a month. So Usually we could do Wednesdays and avoid your meeting right night with the school committee, so would Wednesdays work for you? Well, Wednesdays are when we meet. This month it's a Thursday. Just this month. But this normally month. we meet on Wednesdays. Yeah, the school committee. Yes, yeah, school But you only do once, once, once a, a month. month. Yeah. So we could do the other three Wednesdays sure. or whatever. Yeah, Wednesdays would be okay. Would it work for you? Yeah. Would Wednesdays work for other people? Fine with me. It's fine with me. The I can only one I could make this month would be the 23rd. The other three are already booked. I'm going to be out of town. I'm going away for a week, but normally Wednesdays are good. So, wait a minute. So, the 23rd doesn't work for you, John? Yeah, yeah I'm the away. Only one that, right. oh, not. But it's going to be hard to get everybody. But everybody. Thursdays are not yeah. good? Yeah. It is. I don't know. Well, we should do it right. before then, anyway. I, right. I was just thinking <coughs> the same thing that. It was, right. So, Wednesdays? Who we got left? Well, we have the police department, EMS. We have police department, EMS, the uh, Christine Kong. from the senior center is still, I think, working with Diane on a few items. S school committee is considering the capital requests next week at our meeting. So we, you know, would hopefully, I, you know, be forwarding along a report. You know, a revision or a, a more realistic look at what the school committee's priorities are. Yeah, no, which would be very helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, it, so you have a meeting next Wednesday with the school next committee. Thursday. Next I Thursday. Said, <laughs> next week. Is this the Thursday. Thursday. It's oh, Thursday okay. this month. So that's what well, I think. Next I was Wednesday with the town. police department and EMS. Yeah, Thursday the tenth. Okay. So you meet Thursday the tenth, which would be helpful to meet after that anyway. If we could. Mm -hmm. And John, you're out the whole week of twenty first to the twenty whatever that whole week. Right. Seventeenth through. The twenty seventh. Just go well, day by day. Okay. We could just go day by day. Why don't we? I mean, you will have to check with John and Zach as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. How, how about that last week, 28th, 29th, 30th? Is that yeah. too late? Is that pushing too far? Yeah, we're supposed like to have our report by the right. end Which of day? March, right. by, the by the end, end of, of February. Sometime in, by the end of February. Right. right. By the, by end, the end, end of February. February. So we're. But if we gave them those dates, the 28th, the 30th, 31st? Well, nobody... I was thinking, what about, I, and I hate to do this because we're switching around again, but mm -hmm. what about Monday the 14th? I can't. I'd like to, hmm? I cannot. Cannot. But I'm one out of seven. And if well, we did the 9th, if, if we started May, I mean, if we started around 5, I would just have to leave by probably 6.30. That might work for Zach. I mean, these guys too. They could tack it on to the end Which of the day. day. The fifth. 
The ninth. The ninth. Wednesday the ninth. Sorry. Sorry, the fifth okay. Sunday. Okay. Indisposed on Wednesday the ninth. So you guys do it. <laughs> No, Ken, that doesn't work for you? No, that day is not going to be good for me. No, okay. <laughs> what about Monday the 14th? <laughs> you know what? No, no. No, John. No. But again, I'm one Something out of about seven. the way you yeah, said I mean, it. we might have to have a meeting and maybe everybody can't come. Can't right. That's it, all. Right. I mean, yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, the ninth works for me. Um, Sorry, the ninth works me. The fourteenth, not great. If it's early, I'm good. Um, but anyway, you know, I would suggest Mondays are you, a little tough. If you've got everybody else for the ninth, schedule it. Mm -hmm. By five o'clock, I may be operational, quasi-operational. Who knows? So. Who knows? Right. Well, it, probably if we can get the police department and Skims in here for the ninth, that would be great. Otherwise, there's no need to meet, right? Right. 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 So that would, let's shoot for that. That's what I was thinking. Was we, if we have like two or three dates, okay. and some people can right. make some, and some people, I mean, at the very least, we can all shoot. So the 9th could work at Monday the 14th. Could that work for people? John, no? No. But again, I'm one out of seven. Uh, okay. So no. That's kind of helpful to me. I'm just, so when I... How about the 16th at 5? What about the next thir Wednesday at, I mean, at, at 5? May 16th? Yeah. The 16th work for Works people. for me. Uh, I'm good whenever, so. Oh, look at I you. I don't have anything. Not I have nothing. Good, no. That's a boring job. Hmm? <laughs> just work. <laughs> just work. <laughs> so, all right. So let's just put Listen, the You don't the want ninth, this kind of excitement. Well, the 9th <laughs> and the 16th. 9th and 16th at 5? For 5.30. 5. 5. 5. Well, if we make and it. And I will contact. Or 5. Or five. I, make it 5. Right. Because. If that means Skip can be here longer. Five. All right, five on the ninth or the sixteenth, and then check with them and see what they can I, do. Right, I will check with Zach and the chief and see if we can get them in either for the ninth or the sixteenth. It would be nice to be able to do both of them one night. I don't think we have to, and uh, we'll see what they can do as far as a meet. That sounds great. And I will get an email out as soon as I can confirm that as far as which night works for both of them. And we'll try 5 o'clock. I'm actually going to put that in just so. Put both of those things. Got it. Now that uh, Trevor, yeah, Trevor and Diane want to provide us with some information. Yes, no. Say no. As far as the sewer. Oh, I can, I can do what I know. I, I need to leave. Is that okay? Just yeah. I am really. I mean, I want to start going out to dinner. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can go. Trevor, how important is this? You can scoop. You don't have to. I don't, I don't have a lot of information, but uh, what <laughs> I do want to mention is that we're working next, to, next week. Yeah, um, nice. we're trying to solidify a meeting for Monday the 14th for uh, a workshop with Dave Prickett and the Sewer Study Committee and anybody else who'd love to be there and ask yep. questions. Um, we've got some major issues at the plant, which everybody knows, and they keep getting worse day by day. So. Um, we have an order by DEP right now to get the clarifier fixed in 90 days. Can't happen. It's going to take a year. We're going to need temporary tanks. We don't have a, you know, we were hoping to build a secondary clarifier and right. then take down the one we had. We don't have time for that. So we, we're going to need temporary tanks. Once we have that done, we can take down the, the clarifier that's there, you know, fix the base, keep the frame, really, replace the guts. Um, get that back online, then we can go ahead with phase one, which would be, which would be you know, putting a secondary clarifier in a headworks along with the generator, which really needs to happen as well. 
Um, so we're, I've been working hard to figure out the dance of the financing. Like, how, what do we need, what year, and when? And we need a lot sooner than we were anticipating. And um, it's probably going to have to come down to free cash or um, or stabilization to pay for the first part of the phase, uh, the engineering part, until we get to annual town meeting, and then until we can get the fund. You know, we have almost a million dollars in in. Well, we don't really have it. It's in that capital state. Right. I mean, the, in the enterprise in the fund. enterprise fund, but we right. just it's kind of non-existent at the moment. So we're trying to figure out how we can limp along, and we're probably going to end up having a special town meeting in February to appropriate money to get started on. We're calling it now phase 1A. Um, but Dave will, will have a lot of that stuff Monday night laid out, like a schedule of you know, what we need to do and what it's going to cost, and then present it to you all so you all know everything we know, and then try to get a special town meeting together to get moving on that. Okay. And our application program, our application is just about done. One of the parts of that is to having a work, public workshop. So presenting that, once we get you know the blessings on um, that night. Hopefully, we would we would turn in the turn in the application um, and see what we can get for a grant. And you know we think we can get the loan, no problem. But we need the grant. And how much is the grant? It can be anywhere from zero to seventy five percent. And seventy five is unheard of. I'm right. hoping for so thirty or 50, forty. 50, thirty or forty, 40. I would be thrilled with, but. He thinks with the consent order, it puts us in a much better position to get more money. But then again, and everybody. Who's been working on creating the grant? Uh, so the between grant between our office and and we paid Dave Prickett and to do Prickett's it. Prickett's been doing it. All yeah, been and he's got it just about. You know, it's it's big yeah. and it's just about finished. Um, there were a few last minute housekeeping things to do and have this workshop and discuss it. We'll see what we can get for an answer, and then that will tell us what we can go ahead and do. We don't have any money. It's going to be a. We we'll have to. We're going to have to pare board. back the phases that we can do, but we have to do the clarifiers a must. We have to do a headworks, and we have to do a secondary clarifier. So it's really eleven and a half million, roughly. You know, who knows? A little less, a little more, but um, it's about that figure for the work in the engineering for that first phase one. And phase one A now is just throwing another wrench in it. It's bumping up mm -hmm. more than we wanted to, but. And sooner than we wanted to, so it's confusing. It's right. and so I'm working with. Um, I've been. I met with our uh, auditor today, Brenda today, Barbara. Um, we have a message out to our financial advisor for the town um, to get her notified, and we're going to get once we have, you know, the schedule of what our expenses are going to be. We're meeting with um, with her and everybody involved to try and lay out like when we're going to need a bond, how much we're going to need, when you know are the, are the bands. And then once, you know, at what point do we group all that together in a bond and just bond mm -hmm. that? Um, we'll probably do bands for a while because it's more affordable. And the big heavy work wouldn't happen for about a year or two, you know, because you've got to design it all and then you've got to put the shovel to the ground to start building the major things. So you're probably not laying out cash until 2021 or 2022. Yeah. But you, that first part is really... Having to do secondary clarifies now, is really now pushing this. Funding that, mm -hmm. you had mentioned that uh, free cash may come into play. Well, in it, the enterprise fund, the are enterprise, we still looking at a seventy-five twenty-five? That's that's what's uh, that's where we that's what we have to work with at the moment. Right. Um, that's what's on the books. Um, the problem is, is once you get out into the you know, if you're out to fifteen, twenty million dollar project, if we're out ten years from now doing that, I don't know if the sewer rates can handle that. So it may have to be subsidized more than that by the town. I just I don't know. That's the, all the stuff I need to get laid out. But really, well, all the bills would be paid by the enterprise fund because that's where it all has to happen. That's where all the bills have to get paid from. Right. Period. From, right, they come yeah. from that fund. It's how fast we can replenish that fund and how we. You know how we do that. Mm -hmm. So, so the law. And with funding. Someone asked me this. The, the law requires taxpayers to pay twenty five percent, but it doesn't necessarily limit. Correct. 
the contribution to 25%. Correct. And I found out, the, uh, this was a question I was wondering a while ago, and I know it's a lot of information for the next meeting, but the, because um, I, I know at one a rate setting meeting, a gentleman stood up and said, oh, the town paid, paid for everything last time. When any improvements, the town always pays for it. Well, it turns out that we researched it back. It was a, a grant, federal grant. I think it was federal or state grant that paid for the secondary clarifier and whatever upgrades they did at the plant. So the town, you know, appropriated money. It was about a million and a half, but, um, but it was paid back. So it wasn't, it wasn't, you know, taxpayer paid for it, but then. Up front, right. Up and front, then but it was, it was reimbursed. It was reimbursed. It really right, but it was reimbursed. Exactly. Right, and, with federal dollars. And I don't think the ratepayers have really had to put any huge dollars. I mean, they, every year they pay for maintenance and the operation mm -hmm. of it, but and maybe some some maintenance, but nothing nothing's really been nothing done. For and, and they haven't, we, they haven't, they haven't really done any they capital. They haven't contributed anything for capital. No, for it's years. all right, and we really need to. Um, you know, and I I learned that you know. Which is, it's too bad that those sewer users today. You're right. Are, are going to bear the brunt of it. Many are. There are sewer users who aren't even around anymore. Long ago. Who benefited from. They did low rates. Being, low rates and no investment. Taxed, yeah. mm -hmm. It hurts. It's a lot of money. I've been trying to rack my brain with how to do it for a long time. <laughs> but I think we're getting there. I think you know everybody in the car and moving in the right direction, and we it's all need. It's just going to be painful, no matter. No it is. What, it is, and we're we're doing everything we can to kind of lessen the pain with the with the grants. Hopefully, that'll work out. But we'll have more information on on Monday the fourteenth, and a letter. I'll get a letter to Bruce, and he can send it out to all the members. I, we set Great. it for after the twelfth because I know Eric wanted to be here, and he missed the last right. one. Right. Yeah. And he's back, I think, on the twelfth. So. Okay. We said that Monday the fourteenth. Yeah. And. Um, We'll just lay out everything we have now and mm -hmm. answer questions. I know members probably, you know, members are looking to see all the nuts and bolts, and we won't have that until you spend about a million bucks to have something drawn. I mean, we have back of the envelope one page. Okay, this is about what we think we're going to spend for these mm -hmm. items. But, and I think there'll be a time for that in-depth review of, like, do you really need this? I think you could do something different. We'd get all that input back. When, he's, when we're doing that, just before we go out to bid, when we do the whole, when Dave puts together the whole engineering, the real detailed engineering, we pass that out to you know Josh, you guys, and Eric, and engineers can look at that and say, okay, this needs to get changed. We think you're doing this wrong. We should do this. So have you thought about that? Eric. I think that's the time to do that. Right now, we're trying to figure out, can we do this at all, mm -hmm. and how we pay for it and how long we'll pay for it. But so as soon as I have more information, I'll, I'll get it to you. You as a select board, have you heard any other rumblings about uh, capital requests from anybody? Um, Do you know? I'm working with the Frontier yeah. um, on I that know. committee, and mm -hmm. I just got the latest um, kind of plan. Uh, we went around and around and around on that, trying to pare it down, trying to pare it down and make it reasonable, and but still deal with the things and and actually finance, you know, go for a bond on the things that make sense and not on stair treads. And it's mm -hmm. a common thing everyone says, but you wouldn't finance things that you would use up in a couple of years. So right. they've done a really good job in working with Joe Markarian, and Darius has done a really good job kind of chairing that committee and getting that thing together. Um, I think it's about um, the effect on our town is about a hundred thousand bucks a year, a hundred and twenty thousand a year. I think it's ninety, and then it's one fifteen, and then it's you know it goes up and down right. depending yeah. on the projects. Mm -hmm. That's th the problem with it's a lot of money, but the problem with not also funding about for all the towns together funding about $100,000 into a capital stabilization is you're, you're fixing all this backlog, but you're not doing anything to build, like we talked about with it here, building a pot of money to, to be able to address those other needs that need to be addressed that are going to come up or that we know already. So they're still going to address those needs with um, excess and deficiency, hopefully, and um, maybe small requests to the to the towns as needed but mm -hmm. this will be the bulk of the stuff to get a lot of the main things together so um i believe they're going to 
they have a meeting coming up shortly, the school committee, and whether they adopt that or not, once they adopt that, then it would we'd send it out to all the finance committees and everybody can see what, what the plan is. Um, Skip's been aware of some of that stuff. He's been working right. with us as well. And um, we're just trying to make it affordable to the towns, but mm -hmm. also um, address the needs that are there. But I'm, I'm concerned that we're not putting anything in the capital stabilization for that. But, uh, you know, you only have so much money, so. Well, see, that's, that's what's happening. That's what we've said, and that's, that was my concern. Exactly. With, just with these requests. Mm -hmm. We're kind of hitting the perfect storm here, and. You only have so much to deal with yeah, every right. year. You only have so many dollars. And it's going to take hard choices, you right. know. And so I don't know when the library's be. coming. I know that's not this year or anything, but right. um, I have not heard anything on that. Right. Um, my understanding were they, they were. Uh, estimating about two years out. Yes. But I'm not sure on that. And it so. really depends on what happens in Greenfield. Of course. You know, and that's a yep. huge chunk of money, and if they back out, then um, yep. it moves us up on the list. We'd have to make a decision right. sooner. But um, so we'll, And we have time to do that. We do. We don't, we we do. don't have to rush into that. Exactly. Right. And we have to just decide, you know, what we need to do there. Yeah. We haven't made any decisions. As you know, uh, there's a building committee on, on these, these two buildings right. behind us, the Correct. church and the other, to decide what to do there. So I'm anxious to see what that committee comes up with. Right. But nothing imminent on that. Um, I, I know just, the senior center has some capital requests that Christina was trying to put together. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you've seen any of those yet. I know that we, we have, have, we have not. We wanted to get the flooring done. All um, right. We had kind of had that meeting, and they said, I thought we had money for flooring, and everybody just forgot about it. So right. unless somebody's there, and I said, Christina, beat the table, advocate, right. tell me what you need. So we found that money, and mm -hmm. so that she's moving on that. But, you know, there's like a ceiling fan in the bathroom that doesn't work. The heating doesn't work. There's, you know, we're getting a lot of water in that basement because of that, that rear entrance. We should throw some money at that, at least stop the water from coming in. You know, well, that's why I say there's a, there's a lot of needs with that building. So. Whether we, yeah, right. But, I know right. everybody that goes there wants to keep the building. Right. Many other why? people may want to take it down. They're attached. They went to school oh, there. This is where their, you know, this yeah. is where their community is. So they and they love the old building. So it, it's a tough subject yeah. for people, and I don't know what the right answer is, but yeah. I'm hoping the committee will help with that. Yeah. Looking at I, those I think. Try to remember if it was that building. I think it was. Yeah, didn't we do a study a few years back just for the exterior? It was like a million dollars in brickwork. Wow. To, oh, to I don't, bring that I don't up know today. that. I know I have a study. I haven't read it yet, um, but I know that so, there is a, that was one thing that we're going to look at. And there right. was some, it wasn't, it was maybe, a, yeah, it was, I don't know. I could be totally there. wrong, but it's just for some reason that came I think came it was like a million, million head. and a half to do what needed to be done to get right. the thing going. But that was five years ago or so. Exactly. So. Yep. And okay. water keeps coming in every day. Yeah. So. Well, we knew there was issues there. No yep. question about it. So. The only other things, you know, I'm, you know, uh, I'm really advocating for the town center to get moving on that stuff. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I put a request in for that, but I, I don't, you know, I'm not sure. We're hoping to hear from the node and time bond to kind of get rolling on the public right. priority prioritization. Did you? And I'm sorry, I apologize mm. because I was late to the last meeting. I had a, mm. a doctor's appointment. Okay. But, uh, did you go back? I know there's been two, three previous studies yes. on that. There is. And review yeah. Review those there was studies some, because I, I know there's some money spent prior to there studies was. now, even with. Uh, it was Sugarloaf Business Association. Absolutely. So what happened right. is a woman got a hold of me on Facebook and said, guess what? I've got all kinds of plans. So um, she met me one night and gave me a whole plan. That I think your, um, uh, Steve was on, and yeah. Upton, and, yes, and, and, was. and many other business owners um, right. in town, and they put together amazing stuff. They had Conway School of Design do a bunch mm -hmm. of things. So. We gave those plans to Vinod, and he copied them all, and then brought us the originals back. And then, you know, we've done other stuff with uh, Furcog did a did a downtown study. So we're grouping mm -hmm. all of that together, and you know, and I was trying to start small with the crosswalks and fixing those so they're safe and benches in that common. But I I'm limited as to do that because I need to know where they're going to finish and how they're going to cross the road. And right now the crosswalks go to curbs so they're not ADA compliant. They go in between cars. So that's what I wanted us to study is the common work on that small section first, but it ties into that bigger right. 
across Please the keep in mind that when when you do that, and this is just mm -hmm. uh, a suggestion, yep. that if you're looking at big plan, it involves varying wires or anything of that nature, I would I would hate to see the town go through the expense of, of sidewalks, so on and so forth, and then all of a sudden, three years later, Absolutely. or two years later, all of a sudden, oh, we're at this point, we've got to dig we them up, to, right? I know, to, to I know. Lay wires, so. And that's the problem. It, it, they're so expensive to bury um, okay. that stuff that, um, okay. you know, my fear is that it makes sense to do all that stuff, but we don't have the money to do it, so we right. wind up not doing anything. So, but I will definitely look at that. Okay. I, I love to bury all that stuff okay. and get rid of it. Anybody, any other is questions this, or is concerns? This, are you on the town common ad hoc committee? Yes. We've got a request here for yeah, 70,000. Yeah. We'll discuss yeah. that. Yeah, that's we, down the road. Yeah. Down the road. I mentioned yeah. it, yeah, a while ago. But uh, yeah. I'm, Trevor wants to do more homework, I'm sure. I do. Still I do. We're, it's right. kind of just, it was a placeholder. Right. Just to yep. let you know okay. that that's yep. on the horizon and we don't really know what it would be. Okay. But right. we're hoping to match that with the okay. complete streets funding. All right. Great. Thanks. I don't. Yeah. Have I don't anything have anything else. Anybody yeah. else? I'm not sure if I have anything else okay. that I can think of. But um, working with the school, we'll, we'll see at the next school. I was going to right. I was going to ask that again, and I apologize because I missed the first part of our last meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, on on some of the list that you have here, I was just a little confused when I looked it over as far as numbers. Could we just the, double check those numbers as far as? We're, as I said, when I handed that out last month, I said that is the first look that the school committee had at it. Mm -hmm. And the plan was, and it, it is at our meeting next week, to review it. They should have the numbers a little more <coughs> finely tuned. Okay. And hopefully the administration is going to have some recommendations, and the school committee will take a look, and we'll, I will work to have it prioritized for this mm -hmm. committee yeah, out okay. of next week's meeting. All right. And great. then we'll forward that along. Yeah, right. Once we have it, that's no, but that's the, good. The numbers are a little confusing. They right, were, well, it is like, well, a, on the last one. It says classroom replace carpet and install tile flooring. It <coughs> says four per year, uh, four thousand five hundred per room, and then it's got eighteen hundred dollars. Eighteen thousand. Yeah, right. Yeah, 18, it, well, that's what I thought it was supposed to be. Right, there was a zero a year. Yeah, there which is about I was what guessing been, that's what it was. Continuing was continuing the program right. we've been but doing. But I just wanted to make sure I was yes. yeah, not. Not you're reading misreading right. something. No, right. no, you're, you're reading it. Okay. All right. Sign up and do them all. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was an interesting presentation of the numbers, but yeah. you, you sort of get to the, you right. got, the, you got the gist of it. Yeah. yeah we okay. Need some right. through. No, that's that's good. Yeah. Yeah. If you just a little more detail, clarify yep. a yep. little bit, we that would that. be great. And I think I think that's a good idea as far as priority here mm -hmm. on this list. This is something that we might be able to. Doing Keep phases. away at right. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I'll make a motion. Motion to adjourn. I'll second that. Thank you, guys. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.